Aliongea ile roho inamsukuma kusema. Amen. He spoke by the spirit. Aliongea kwa roho. By the spirit of God. Kwa roho ya Mungu. Amen. The Bible says what you sow. Uyoyote unaopanda. You will harvest. Amen. What you do what? What you sow. You will harvest. That is a principle. It's a principle in the world. Whatever you sow. One day you will harvest. Hallelujah. It is a principle. And if, uh, and if you follow the principle, you will know what the people of the world do. They sow, and they know they will harvest. Most of us in here, you have been, you've been crops, you have seen plants growing. And you have seen when you sow, uh, let, let's say, corn. Yes. We have corn that can come and anyway, when you sow corn, you cannot harvest beans. Yes. Am I right? Yes. It's a principle. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And some of you hear your parents. You have kids growing. Amen. Amen. Your kids growing. Hallelujah. Amen. So pastor said, I want to sow. I want to sow. What you, what, whatever you sow, you sow for yourself. Hallelujah. And I want to speak to the parents, not as a pastor, man. I want to speak to you. Some of you, you have children. They are growing. They are meeting people. One day they will get married. Amen. Amen. Not every seed grows in a good ground. Am I right? I'm, I want to make it clear. If the soil is bad and the seed is good, that seed not grow. The problem was the soil. Amen. Amen. I planted something, never give up. And pass as a house. The problem was not the seed. It was the soil. So I had to make a lot of soil. We went to the pastor to collect a lot of soil and the manure. And they were planted. And they came up so nice. So the problem was not the seed. It was the soil. Amen. When he's telling you so, there is a fertile soil. Amen. Amen. A fertile soil. And the spirit knows that if, I, if they sow in this fertile soil, they, the Lord knows you will have us. Amen. Amen. God knows. Amen. That is why by the spirit said, even if I take a loan, Hallelujah. He sold for his own family. God knows. Amen. Amen. The Lord knows. This seed is going to my children. One day, God does not forget. A time will come. And the Lord will say, remember the seed. That child must be protected. Amen. That girl must get a good husband. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The enemy might send wrong people. But because of the seed that was so many years ago, the Lord says no. Hallelujah. The Bible says it speaks. 
in the, in the seed speaks. Amen. Hallelujah. Let us thank God for the word of God. Father, we thank you because of the precious word. You give us wisdom, you give us clarity, you give us understanding, and the spirit of knowledge as we hear your word. Even the words to speak, Lord, we make our hearts open to your precious word. Free us, O God. Yeah. Now we show the Lord. In Jesus' name, and everybody say amen. amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I want first of all to say thank you so much for Pastor hosting us, myself and my wife, my fiancée. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Tomorrow is 60 days since we came. Amen. Yes. Hallelujah. I came here only to be here for not more than three weeks. But the Lord has made us to stay. Amen. Mama, Pastor, has been so good to us. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. She has been a really wonderful woman to us. Amen. Cooking for us. So we have grown fat. Hallelujah. And the pastor has been the father. Talking to us. Encouraging us. Teaching us how to live. Amen. Because for me, I'm not lived in dating for, I was not in the world. That's something I want to testify. Uh, so I never had many ladies come and try, come and try. Uh, yeah, I, 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 God did not uh, give me that place. So I got to one and I went for one. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Amen. So I thank God for that. So, so much I didn't know. Because I was only a preacher man. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> I was a preacher man, not a praise the Lord. <laughs> But I want to encourage you to explore, learn a lot. There's a lot to learn out, out there. Amen. Especially the young people. Yeah. Learn a lot. So I thank God for the pastor standing and teaching me a lot. I've learned a lot. Amen. Amen. And Paul said, The God that I serve. The God that I serve will supply all of your needs in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Can we lift our hands and pray for Pastor I mean, just declare, may God bless you. Amen. Amen. Everybody lift up your hands and speak your word. I know he's traveling to, to, to Africa, so let us just pray, pray that God will be with him. Um, uh, bless him. Show him much on the way, on the plane, everywhere the people that he shall meet. Uh, the parents and, and the brothers and sisters will pray for kindness. Let us just tell the Lord to bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Glory to the, to the name of the Lord. Pastor, we pray for you. God to be with you in Jesus' mighty name. And uh, we appreciate so much. And my family back home and, and in Norway, they appreciate. They know that I'm here. Amen. Can we go to our topic today? Building an altar of prayer. Building the altar of prayer. Amen. Altar of prayer. Altar of prayer. And last Sunday I said, your prayer is as strong as your altar. Amen. You are as strong as your altar of prayer. Amen. Amen. Abraham was a strong man. Abraham We are never told that really Abraham prayed a lot or fasted. And Abraham 
is the father of all Christians. Abraham Baba ya wa Christ wote. Because Abraham was the one given the promise by God. Ah Mungu alipatia Abraham haradi. And he was told that you Abraham asema kama wewe Abraham you will be the father of nation. Utakuwa baba ya mataifa. Hallelujah. And the Bible says if anyone be in Christ then you are Abraham's seed. Hallelujah. And this is the reality of life. You know when you are Christ you can say I am the seed of my father. That is what we say. We say I am the seed of my Father. It is the mother that carries the seed. So we are called after our fathers because we get our identity from them. The woman just carries the, 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 the baby. Uh, and the woman does carry the baby. But the seed comes from the father. So the Bible says If anyone be in Christ, kila mtu anakuwa kwa Kristo Biblia inasema. Hallelujah. Amen. Then you are Abraham's seed. Kwa mbegu ya Abraham. You are no longer the seed of your dad. Au kwa tena mbegu ya baba yako. You are no longer the seed you don't you are dead it is no longer where you come from. Ah ile ile hali yako ya iko tena vile mali unapotoka. Bible says you are a new creation. Unakuwa umbili mpya. A new person. Unakuwa mtu mpya. We can look at you. Tunaanza angalia wewe. And I see you. Unaanatazama wewe. And I look at you and say you come from Congo come from Kenya. You come from wherever you come from. But in your reality in God's kingdom. It is not so. Hallelujah. Amen. And that is the real the truth which Jesus said you know the truth. So you are the seed of who? Abraham. Abraham. And you should learn what Abraham did. Jesus told them. Yes, if you truly you are the Abraham seed as you claim to be. mbegu ya Abraham Then why are you not doing what Abraham did? That is what Jesus asked to them. Yes, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And then in the book of Isaiah, Isaiah told the people, look at Abraham and Sarah where you came from. Unasema kwa kumtazama Abraham na Sarah mali wanapotoka. Where you came from? Mali wanapotoka. Look at them. Unawatazama. What did they do? Walifanya nini? Do the same. Walifanya hiyo hiyo tu. Those were the words of Jesus. Mimi ni mwana wa Yesu Kristo. Hallelujah. And in Galatians then Paul said if you are in Christ Mimi Galatia nasema kama uko ndani ya Kristo Then you are Abraham seed Unakuwa mbegu ya Abraham Hallelujah Say I am Abraham seed Ambia mimi na mbegu ya Abraham Declare I am Abraham seed Ambia mimi na mbegu ya Abraham And I'm blessed Mimi na bariki Hallelujah Hallelujah The Bible says the true seed Mimi nasema kwamba mbegu ya ukweli of Abraham ya Abraham is those that are in Christ. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. So what made Abraham great? What made Abraham so powerful? What made Abraham so powerful? What made Elijah so grateful? A, 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 a great man. What made Elisha so powerful? Elijah. A powerful man. What made David a powerful man? Those are the questions we should ask. Those are the questions we should ask. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You know we pray too much. And we fast too much. And especially in Africa. Uh, am I right? Yeah. But the prayer and the fasting is not equal to the results you get. Sometimes God does it because he's massive. But he knows you 
don't know the truth. So it just opens the door because of his mercy. Hallelujah. But the Bible says the truth will set you free. The thing that you need to pray for, you may not pray for them. The thing that you need to pray for them, you may not pray for them. Hallelujah. That is why this topic, building an altar, is very powerful. Amen. Amen. Building an altar. That is what made Elijah a powerful man. Amen. Fasting chapter number 18. Elijah said, let them prepare an altar. And also will make an altar. And he gave them time to pray. From morning till evening. Hallelujah. Pray. Let the fire come. Let the fire come. Let the fire come. And until Elijah told them, maybe your God is sleeping. Maybe he has gone for holiday. Hallelujah. But he could call your God. And he did not answer. Amen. Amen. God did not do what? They are God did not answer. But Elijah, Elisha, Elijah came and said, just a short prayer. He, he built an altar to God of Abraham, Isaac, and Isaac. Hallelujah. He built altar according to what Abraham did. According to what Isaac did. And according to what Jacob did. Then he called on God of those people. And God answered. Amen. Amen. He didn't pray. He didn't pray a lot. He didn't fast. But he got answered. So what's wrong? What's wrong with our prayer and fasting? Because we have not learned to sacrifice for the altar of God. Because we don't know to sacrifice for the altar of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And therefore, when we're building an altar, a strong altar of prayer, you build on a stronger person than you. Amen. I will say this. Are we listening? Hallelujah. Because I pray to God we need a strong water of prayer. So that when you pray, things change. When sickness comes, you pray. I mean, you change things. Hallelujah. So, the Lord wants me to show you how to raise an altar. How do you raise an altar? Amen. The word, there's a word there that the word of reading. When did Neno love so much? He says, Judge, he says, but the Lord said to him, Peace, peace, do not be afraid. You're not going to die. So Gideon built an altar to the Lord there and call it the Lord is peace. So this is an opera of a peace right. Hallelujah. <laughs> Bwana akamwambia amani uwe pamoja nawe. Usogope uta kufa. Ndipo Gideoni akamjengea Bwana madhabao hapo akaita jina lake Mikoba Shamu hata hivyo leo iko iko katika opera ya wa Amen. We are going to to, to know what Gideon did and what happened. Tuka Last Sunday we, 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 we studied what uh, David did to stop the war. 
tulionesha wa last Sunday jinsi Daudi alifanya kusimamisha vita. What did he do? Those are right inside our game on Sunday. He raised an altar to God yes. and the plague was short. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So did you only hear there was famine? Kulikuwa na njaa. Kulikuwa na njaa. In the days of Gideon. And every time they planned, wakati watu walikuwa wanapanda, the enemy used to come. Atu alikuwa anakuja and take away everything. Kuchupa kila kitu. And oppress Did you I mean the, the entire Israel? Alikuwa na nganamizo wa Israel yote. For 20 years. So mwaka shirini. They they were in problems. Walikuwa na shida. They cried to God. Walilia Mungu. They cried. Walilia Mungu. God save us. Mungu tuokoe. From our enemies. Kutoka mapinyo yetu. But God did nothing. Mungu alifanya kitu yote. And everybody was afraid. Kila mtu alikuwa na kofa. But there, there was a man whose heart was okay. Kuna mtu alikuwa na roho sawa. The man was called Gideon. Ile mtu aliitwa ni Gideon. And Gideon was was like asking himself, why why do you have all these problems? Kwa nini tuko na hii mambo yote? Why why is it that things are not moving? Kwa nini kitu haendi sawa sawa? Every time we we saw The enemy comes only the time it is about to rise. The enemy comes and takes away. Wote kitu nataka kumea atuye na kuja na ichukua wote. There is no progress. Hakuna maendeleo in our family. Kwa familia yetu. That is what they, I mean Gideon was saying. Hii ndio Gideon alikuwa anasema. And they cried to God. Walilia Mungu. Just as in this church today. Na kama vile katika kanisa hii. There are people that are going through the same thing. Unaenda kupitia mambo mengi. We fear God. Unaogopa Mungu. We love God. Tunapenda Mungu. But we are oppressed. Tunanganyamizwa. My family is oppressed. Family yangu wananganyamizwa. We are trying to work hard. Wanatumika nguvu. But every time we start we try to gather. Wakati tunajaribu pamoja, something comes and takes that man away. Tunakuja na kuchukua ile pesa. Something comes. Kitu kinakuja and takes everything away. You ask yourself why God? Kwa unajiuliza kwa nini Mungu? Why God? Kwa nini Mungu? What is happening in my family? Gani tunataka kwa familia yangu? What is happening in my children? Kitu gani tunataka kwa watoto wangu? There is no peace. Hakuna amani. Hallelujah. As the Bible says there was no peace for 20 years. Hakuna amani kwa mwaka shilingi. Just as some of you here in your family there is no peace it's fighting and fighting and fighting and you're afraid to say a fear God hallelujah so what did the angel tell Gideon hallelujah what did the angel tell Gideon when you study the scripture the angel came and told Gideon what to do He told him bid me an altar. And in that altar, it is not just an altar. It's an altar of peace. Hallelujah. Amen. It is an altar of what? There is an altar of everything. When a witch or a wizard of wakati uchawe na kuja when they want to do something to do to you wakati wanataka kufanya kitu kwako they raise an altar wanachenga madhabahu and they offer sacrifice wanatoa vitu and they set a spirit wanatuma roho into a family kwa familia na wanasema na hiyo family isiwe na amani the city's family cannot have peace na hiyo family wasiwe na nini this family na amani They cannot be your pepper yet in Kawatawani. He let pepper this spirit can go control them. But no hakuna hakuna um moral aise kuja kwako kama haijatolewa sadaka. There's not the not spirit come to you if there's no uh, offering sacrifice for that. Hallelujah. Shall I say amen? amen? Because that is the truth. You know what? That is the truth. You can pray and fast the way you want as a Christian. But if there is no sacrifice. Kama kuna sadaka ya kujitolea. You'll only become more thin and thin. 
And you'll be telling people I'm so powerful. But in the reality, you are so happy. Amen. Amen. Am I telling the, the, the right things? It is true. It is true. Bible says Abraham was told by God. Bring, go to Abraham, bring me. Bring me. It's first bring to God. In the first you bring to God. Then God brings it to you. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Even for God Himself. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. For God Himself. Amen. The Almighty God. Amen. To to have special access on earth. Amen. He had also to sacrifice. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. He did what? And that's why Jesus is called the chief cornerstone. Jesus is the chief cornerstone. Is the Jesus the highest altar that we have? But on that foundation. We have to build on it. Hallelujah. Yeah. We can build a foundation of Jesus Christ. Let's, let us go to Ephesians chapter number 2 and verse number 20. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Ephesians 2. And verse number 20. It says, well, let us begin from 19. It says, Now therefore, you are no longer strangers and foreigners, but fellow citizens with the saints and members of the household of God. God. 20. Having been built on the foundations of the apostles and the prophets, Jesus Christ himself being the chief cornerstone. Amen. Amen. The church Kanisa. is built on three foundations. Jesus is the chief cornerstone. Yes, Hallelujah. Then we have the apostles. And then the prophets. Hallelujah. Now the prophet comes to tell you what you are missing. Hello. Now we're together, church. Are you together, church? The prophet can come to a church. Is a good church. Fierce God. They, they, they have faith in God. But he looks at the church and prophetically he tells them you lack this for you to go to the next level. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And that is why we need to learn how to raise an altar. And every great altar is built on a greater altar. And a is built on a greater altar. Are we together? I want to explain that one. Because we are, we are now we are, we are eating the solid food. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. This one is not for the it's not built. What, are, what I mean, you have to have a stronger person in faith. Amen. Amen. A church or a person. Greater and powerful than you. So that you build your altar unto them. Hallelujah. Amen. Are we together? Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. 
You cannot build your altar of prayer on someone that is lower than you. Otherwise, they will pull you down. Amen, church. Amen, church. Most of you come from Africa, so it's good to explain something. And these are real things. Some of you, you might send money to your brothers or to your relatives and your people. And they use that money in a bad way. They, they use that money, they take to build altars. Am I right? And by that, you find yourself you're getting into debt and your money is not working. No matter how much it means your money is bound. It was taken to the old. They use that to pull it down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So, it is wise to build on, a, on, a, on an order that is strong. Amen. Amen. In the New Testament, Hallelujah. Amen. In the new, before they used to bring goats, cows. But what did they do in the New Testament? Acts chapter number 4. And verse number 32. Why was the church so powerful? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In Christianity, you are not powerful. If you are not powerful, you will be weak. And the enemy will ride on you. They will be walking on you. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, the multitude of those who believe are of one heart and one soul, and anyone said that any of the things he possessed was his own. But they had all things in common, and with great power, the apostles gave witness to the resurrection of, of the Lord Jesus, and a great grace was upon them all. Now was there, no there, no was there anyone among them who lacked. For all who are possessors of, I want us to read there, of lands or houses, sold them, and they brought them the, of the, brought the proceeds of the things that were sold, and they were laid, verse 35, and laid them with the apostles' feet, and they distributed to each as, to each as anyone had need. Amen. Read this one here. Shirina <laughs> mwenyewe bali walikuwa na vitu vyote shirika na mitume wakatoa ushuhuda wa kufufuka kwa Yesu kwa Yesu kwa nguvu nyingi na neema nyingi ikawa juu yao wote wala hawakukua na mtu mmoja miongoni mwao mwenye mahitaji kwa sababu watu wote waliokuwa na viwanja au nyumba walipiuza wakaileta thamani ya vitu vile vilivyouzwa wakaiweka miguni kwa mtume kila mtu akagawi akagawiwa kwa kadiri ya alivyo hitaji amen amen haleluya whatever they had they brought they brought on the altar of god Amen. Amen. They brought on the altar, on the apostles' feet. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Amen. For what? To be a strong and a powerful church. And also to give to the poor. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We may not really get the depth of this teaching for today. But for you to have a strong altar, you need to learn to sacrifice. When you sense something unusual in your family, in your life, in your education, if you discover something wisely, speak to the Lord and tell the Lord, I want to build an altar for you. Hallelujah. Because of this, when David had problems, he raised an altar. Amen. When Gideon had a problem, he raised an altar. Um, and all many Elijah built an altar. How did they learn? How did they learn all those things? From their fathers. Hallelujah. They learned from their fathers Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Amen. And as many people say, no, these things are not in the New Testament. That's what many people say. No, no. The truth is, Jesus said something in John chapter number 14. Jesus said, I have not taught you everything. But when the Holy Spirit comes, He will teach you all about it. And He will remind you the things that you should know. Amen. Amen. And there's a reason why Jesus said, Look unto Abraham, your father. There's a reason. It's a statement. Is he told them if you claim you are, you are, you are from Abraham, why don't you do the thing that you are Abraham? That is what he told them. Amen. So Jesus just came to teach us this thing. Very powerful. Sometimes they seem hard, but it's a way. Hallelujah. It is. It is the way. Today is a special day because I want to pray because you brought your 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 your, 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 your altar offering. You brought, amen. Everyone. I want to pray for you. I also brought my Hallelujah. I want to pray for you. For one reason. I believe, as Elijah said, that the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Israel, answer me today. That is what Elijah said. He said, answer me today. He raised that altar. Not on his name. Elijah never built that altar on his name. But he called on the God of Covenant. And he said, The God of Abraham. Isaac in the One time I saw a spirit come to me. And he told me, I'm Corona and I want to come to you. And I said, in the name of Jesus, do not come to me. And the Spirit told me, in the name of, in the name of Jesus, I'll come. Then immediately an angel stood before me. Immediately. An angel stood before me. And he told me, say his prayer. Say in the name of God of Abraham. 
Isaac and Jacob. And the, the father of our Lord Jesus Christ from Hallelujah. It's, it is only say you will not come. And I said you will not come. The moment I said you will not come, a huge stone was released. A huge stone. In that vision I saw a huge stone. And that stone went to that bar. And and and, 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 and Peel that bar away. That, that bar flew. That spirit went. It was a very dark spirit. And it went away. And the Lord told me many people they don't know how to pray. And this we took, took advantage. Because you not say the right thing. Sometimes you need to say the right thing. Even if they have their own Jesus. You know that? They have their own Jesus. So you need to say which God. You are referring to. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you say the God of Abraham, the God that was with Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my family cannot be destroyed. Hallelujah. When you declare that prayer, and you say, by this offering, by this sacrifice, oh God, Hear my prayer. Hallelujah. That is how you pray. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't just come to the altar of God. With Lord uh, with no proper guidance. No proper reference. Try to go of Abraham. Try to go of, 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 of Isaac. The God of Jacob, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, and you tell the Lord, Oh God, this sacrifice, this sacrifice, this sacrifice, as I give to you, I build a strong altar, I build a strong altar, a strong altar of prayer, and in this altar, in the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy the destroyer in my life. I destroy the sickness in my family in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That is how you build a strong body. I want us to stand before God. And I want to tell the Lord, let us stand before God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And you tell the Lord, Oh God, Oh Mungu, Oh God, Oh Mungu, today, as I build this altar, as I build this altar, before God of Abraham, before God of Isaac, before God of Jacob, my father, my father, my father, whatever is not of God, whatever is not of God, whatever is not of God. I know what is not of God. Every sickness, every disease, every poverty, every poverty, every lack, whatever that is not of God, brought by Satan, your family, you raise the altar, you raise the altar.
God is opening my eyes and I see an altar that is after you. There is an altar that wants to destroy your family. Now, I'm a power is in the spirit that is being sent to make sure you don't have peace in your family. They, they gave a sacrifice and they spoke words. But the Lord says, as I pray for you, 